One of the applications of the definite integral is to find the average value of a function. And for today, we're going to be working on the formula for finding the average value of a function given by 1 all over b minus a times the integral of f of x dx from a through b. And this is what we will use in today's lesson in finding the average value of a given function. Now for our first example, let's find the average value of the function f of x, which is equal to 3x squared minus 2x, on the interval 1 through 4. Now, we know that the formula for finding the average function is 1 all over b minus a times the integral of f of x dx from a through b, wherein our a is 1 and b is 4, given the function 3x squared minus 2x. So by direct substitution, we'll be able to find the average value of this particular function. So we have 1 all over 4 minus 1 times the integral of 3x squared minus 2x dx from 1 to 4. And by evaluating the integral and simplifying our fraction, we'll have 1 third times x cubed minus x from 1 through 4. And by direct substitution, by evaluating our upper limit and the lower limit, we'll have x cubed minus x from 1 to 4 equal to 48, and 1 third times 48 is equal to 16. Therefore, the average value of the function 3x squared minus 2x on the interval 1 to 4 is equal to 16 using this formula. And that is our first example. Now for the second example, we're going to find the constant c. And in this example, let's find c such that f average is equal to f of c for f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared on the closed interval 0 and 2. Now, the formula for finding f average from the previous example is 1 all over b minus a times the integral of f of x dx from a through b. Now, we know that f average is equal to f of c, therefore we can rewrite our formula into f of c equal to the formula of the function or f average. Now, to find the specific function for f of c, we will use f of x which is equal to 4 minus x squared as our base. So since f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared, we can change f of c into 4 minus c squared by, repla by replacing x to c. So we have f of c which is equal to 1 all over 2 minus 0 times the interval of 4 minus x squared dx from 0 to 2, evaluating your definite integral and replacing f of c by 4 minus c squared, we are now ready to compute for the um, constant c using this setup. So let's try to simplify this side of the equation by performing definite integration. So the definite integral 4 minus x squared dx from 0 to 2 will be 4x minus x cubed all over 3 from 0 to 2. And by evaluating it further, our function will now be 1 half times 16 over 3 equal to 4 minus c squared, which gives us 4 minus c squared equal to 8 over 3. So we'll have 4 minus c squared is equal to 8 all over 3. By getting rid of 4, we'll have negative c squared is equal to 8 minus 3, or 8 over 3 minus 4. And it gives us c squared is equal to negative 8 over 3 plus 4 by getting rid of the negative sign with your variable c. And to finally get the exponent, take the square root of both sides, and you'll have c is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 over 3. And this is how we find c, or the constant c, given this type of equation and uh, this particular formula.